guys and welcome to Nerd Night News and let's get into the stories of the day. Starting off with our first story which comes from Eurogamer. Acclaimed League of Legends animated shows Arcane wins an Emmy for Outstanding Animated Program. It's a big deal for us as we came from video games, they say. Fan favorite League of Legends show um, Arcane has won an Emmy for Outstanding Animated Program. The show beat The Simpsons, Rick and Morty, What If and Bob's Burgers to Security Award. It's the first time a streamer series is won a, uh, this award in that category. Honor doesn't even begin to describe how we feel about winning the Emmy for Outstanding Animated Program. The show's official Twitter account posted earlier today. Thank you to our incredible team at Riot Games and Fortish, the Television Academy, and the great fans, yes, you, for making this possible. And I have to say, this is thoroughly deserved. I watched Arcane and I absolutely loved the first season. Um, I, I really have no faults with it. It was one of those shows where I watched it from beginning to end and just enjoyed every second of it. So I am not surprised that they won an Emmy, but it is very good for. I feel like the games industry and the animated industry that, you know, we can now convert these things that we love and really bring up the lore and the stories of some of, like, our favourite characters, you know, from, like, Legend League of Legends and Legends of Rune Terror and just put it all together, like, pilt over and stuff. But, yeah, thank you for this, said the Arcane co creator Christian Link, when they picked up the award Thanks, Deadline. It's a big deal for us as we came with video games. It's been amazing to see the world embrace our characters and our stories. So thanks to Netflix, who believed in us from the beginning. Thanks to Riot Games, who worked on the whole IP. And to all the people that have been with our game and League of Legends for the last 12 years. Also, who helped make it as big as it is now. This is a really lovely start to the day. Moving on to another story. And this one comes from Video Games Chronicles. Images claiming to show Konami Silent Hill 2 remake have appeared online. The project is understood to be in development at the medium dev Bloober team. The images which have been rightly circulated across social media mirrored by the Marmalade. Uh, Marmalade. Uh, reportedly from an internet pitch demo for the game according to noted inside a Dusk Golem which VGA sees own sources have corroborated. These are from an internal pitch demo from Bloober, but uh, they got greenlit, so it's literally a no-budget proof concept thing, he said, referring to the low-quality images. This isn't actually what the final game looks like, he continued. As we just reported earlier this year, a Silent Hill 2 remake is understood to be in active development, so suggests the game will be a timed exclusive for PlayStation consoles alongside PC. Now, this is the thing. I don't understand this alongside PC thing. I don't understand if that means that the game is a timed exclusive for PlayStation and then will be coming to PC, or whether it's a timed exclusive on PlayStation and PC and it's going to be coming to other platforms. Because I feel like it would be kind of a real injustice if Silent Hill wasn't on the Nintendo Switch. Because I feel like it would be a bloody fun Switch game to carry around with you. That's like out of my thoughts with that. I don't own Switch, but if I owned a Switch... I'd really, really want Silent Hill 2 to be on it. I really, really would. But apparently they're working on revamping the series and bringing it back to life. And it's going to be the blue team, the people behind Medium. And that will be coming out sometime in the future. We don't know when. We'll have to see when they actually start making stuff and telling us about it. But that is something to look out for. Moving on. And this one comes from Twitter. East Asia Soft. This Tuesday, September 6th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 a.m. Pacific Time, and 4 p.m. UK Time, we will premiere a new Fall 2022 showcase featuring 10 minutes of previews for games scheduled to drop in September, October, and beyond. And if you go to the official page where they are hosting this, which is here, they actually say in the description of the upcoming event that they will feature 13 titles across Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series XS for release in September, October, and beyond. So no matter what your platform of choice is, you won't want to miss this special presentation. 
it will be interesting to see what they show. And I will certainly be looking into that. Starting with Dungeons of Aether. Dungeons of Aether is being delayed from October 25th, 2022 to February 28th, 2023. This will give their team time that they need to ensure Dungeons of Aether is a fantastic addition to the Aether franchise that expands on the world Rivals of Aether. So, unfortunately, the game is being delayed, but it is being delayed because they want to make it the best possible experience that they can, which I feel is the most responsible thing to do when it comes to games, is rather than, you know, release a game with bugs, issues, the story not being right, the gameplay not being exactly what they want, they're going to put more time and effort in and give themselves that extra six months so they can really nail down all the things and fine-tune it to the level and standard that they feel that the fans of the series and that players deserve. And I appreciate that because too many games come out where they are a mess, where they are buggy, where they do have issues. So it is nice to see that they are holding off on this one and they're going to take it a little bit more seriously than other studios would because... That is a heartbreaking thing when other studios don't take the games that they make seriously. So it's coming out February 28th, 2022, 2023, sorry. And yeah, I don't know. I haven't played Steve, so I can't comment on Steve or how good or bad it is. But I do hope that it does well and that when it comes out, it is everything that it should be. Because that's what everyone wants from a series, right? A game series, whether it's this or that. They want it to be the best it can be. Anyways, guys, this is everything for Nerd Night News. I appreciate you watching. I hope to see you in the next episode, whatever it is. Take care and have a good rest of your day, evening or night. I appreciate you. Like, comment, share and subscribe as always. And peace out.